welcome back to a new year guys, uh, 2012, hope you had a good New Year's Eve. I didn't, I had tonsillitis and didn't get a chance to drink which is uh, pretty disappointing. Uh, we're straight into it, we're uh, going to have a look at today at the, uh, the drink, I said it's a slew of different shoot 'em ups or shmups for sure. Um, what we'll do first of all, before we go into that tangent of shmups, We'll actually uh, have a look at the Dreamcast itself and sort of what sort of exciting games came out for it. Obviously released by Sega, fantastic, fantastic machine. Uh, Bring the arcade home for your awesome enjoyment. <laughs> what we'll do is look at a bit of the hardware, uh, a few of the game boxes and things that I've got as well. Um, and then uh, we'll have a bit of a look at the, some, of, some of my favourite shmups on the uh, Sega Dreamcast, which is uh, that's quite a lot. But um, yeah, we'll just have a bit of a quick breeze over those, so yeah. Stick around and uh, hope you enjoy it. Of course, that's the fantastic Dreamcast itself. Um, blue little swirl there, you'll notice, I think, is the PAL region. I'm pretty sure the Japanese regions have a, uh, a red swirl, but I think blue looks better. It's more mellow. Uh, one thing w which was cool that I noticed at the start um, four controller inputs. So um, that, that's nice. I like that you don't have to. Um, I think with Sony we're doing it buying a multi-tap at that particular point, so it's nice to have four controllers so you could, uh, like as I said, there's a lot of arcade games you could play, multiplayer sort of stuff, um, Unreal Tournament, things like that, um, which was really, really good fun to play with a slew of friends. Um, was it Hydro Thunder? There's there's so many, so many uh, great arcade games and um, great, just great games in general released on the uh, the good old Sega Dreamcast. Um, what have we got in there? Shenmue Passport <laughs> from last time. I've been slack, haven't I? Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic machine. And to control a fantastic machine, you need a fantastic controller. A lot of people have complained that the D-pads on the uh, the Dreamcast controllers are are terrible for Street Fighter. Um, I don't know, I, I never really had any dramas where they're doing the, the fireballs or the uppercut movements or anything like that. This, yeah, I had some dramas with, but um, with a with D-pad, it's not too bad. It sticks out a lot more than, say, what your horrible Xbox 360 one would. Um, so, yeah, you can, get, you can get your moves off quite well. Um, but yeah, it's a great, great sort of controller. Similar sort of um, diamond sort of representation of um, what you have with the, the SNES sort of layout. Uh, obviously get your shoulder buttons as well, um, but what is most exciting about this is what goes right in here. The VMU, which is the uh, equivalent of what the PlayStation would have with their uh, memory card. Uh, but this one's got a little D-pad on it, sleep mode, A and B buttons. It looks, well, when I first saw this it was like, wow, this is freaking awesome. I've got like a, I've got a, a, a Dreamcast and I've got another little mini console in my hand. <laughs> the only thing I really used it for, apart from obviously game size, I think it was in uh, Sonic Adventure, you could actually download uh, a couple of little uh, characters and uh, use it as a Tamagotchi sort of thing, you could check on them and whatnot and uh, keep the uh, general health to a, a bare minimum, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but it, it was an in interesting way of, um, of having a, a memory card as opposed to just a square block. So basically that sort of popped in the top like so. Uh, I mean, basically when you're playing the games it either comes up with a title of the game. Uh, I know if you're playing Ready to Rumble it shows you how many punches you've landed and things like that and useless sort of information. Uh, most of the time it'll just have, say, for instance you're playing Shenmue, it'll just have, say, Shenmue written across the screen in nice text and whatnot. So, um, a pretty handy little device and um, yeah, an innovative sort of way to, um, an interesting way to have a memory system. And look, the, the good thing about the, the Dreamcast is people are still developing games for it, um, sort of homebrew titles. This being one of the, the most recent ones that's come out, which is Fast Striker, which is a shoot 'em up, which I'll show you a little bit later. Um, great, great, great little game. Um, lots and lots of good shoot 'em ups on the Sega Dreamcast, and um, we'll have a look at those, and um, we'll come back and we'll wrap it up.
Scared, are you? Of this game, lots and lots of bullets you will be scared of. Uh, one of my all-time favourites is Ikaruga. Uh, this is a, a bit of a, <coughs> a dodgy, dodgy, dodgy copy, um, but heck, I've got it on the track, so. Uh, I originally came across uh, Ikaruga on uh, Xbox Live and it was um, they did the HD re-release and whatnot and just went ape shicer over it ever since. Um, great, great, great game by the, uh, the Treasure Company. They also did Radiant Silver Gun for the Sega Dreamcast or the, uh, the Sega STV uh, arcade board or arcade um, set up there. Uh, Ikaruga, great little game. One of my all time favourite uh, shoot em ups. Uh, so we'll have a good look at that now. And um, we'll be back in a tick after some bullet awesomeness. As I was mentioning earlier, there's um, some other developers doing uh, some uh, shoot 'em ups. It's, there's one that's been postponed for about six trillion years. It's called uh, Stormwind or Sturmwind, uh, which is a shoot 'em up by, uh, I can't remember, it might be from a German company, I'm not too sure. Uh, definitely Google that or YouTube, that looks fantastic, but um, I don't know when it's finally getting released. Um, I was hoping to have it by now, but it keeps getting uh, postponed, postponed, more and more problems, unfortunately. So, uh, as soon as I do get a copy of that, I'll. Um, your heads up and um, I'll hopefully get a chance to show you what it looks like. Uh, but yeah, as I said, if, if you like shoot 'em ups, it's a great uh, platform to play with shoot 'em ups on. Um, if you like arcade stuff, uh, you've got Crazy Taxi, uh, all that sort of stuff, Soul Calibur, um, the list just goes on and on and on. So, uh, what we're going to do now is basically that's, that's it for me. We'll wrap that up. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll get off the Dreamcast. Uh, <laughs> for a change, I think the last two episodes have been about the Dreamcast, so we'll do something different next time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show, uh, it's good to be back and um, I'll catch up with you guys next time. See you then.